The operating room is the center of the operating room complex. In this course, the operating room complex, as well as the operating room, are discussed in detail. The complex is divided into zones. A specialized air management system contributes to a gradation in cleanliness within these zones. In this course, the standard components of the OR, zoning within the OR complex, climate control, lighting, electricity, supply of gases, and fire safety are discussed. The patient is positioned in the center of the operating room, so he is optimally surrounded by the operating team and medical instruments and devices. A panel above the surgical table ventilates the sterile field with filtered air. In order to administer anesthesia easily, the anesthesia machine is usually at the head of the surgical table. If it is required to reposition the surgical table, the anesthesia machine can be moved as well, in order to maintain a close distance to the patient's head. The machine should ideally be located close to the door, allowing quick access for the anesthesiologist in case of an emergency. Electrosurgery is integrated into modern surgery and part of most procedures. The electrosurgical unit is therefore a standard component of the operating room. A suction device is a standard component of each operating room. Both the surgical team as well as the anaesthetic team use the suction device. During surgery, it might be used for evacuating blood, other fluids or smoke. The anesthesiologist might use the device to clear the airway. The suction device is connected to an integrated vacuum system. At least one, but usually two operating lights are installed above the surgical table. The movable arms and tiltable light head allow for creating any desired light field. The lights can be adjusted by any team member. The handpiece should be covered with a sterile cover. Devices which are needed in order to perform an endoscopic procedure are a light source, a camera processor, and an insufflator. For a more detailed elaboration of this, refer to the course Endoscopy Tower. The components are located either on a built-in column as a fixed part of the operating room or on a separate mobile tower. Besides the monitor on the endoscopy tower, Additional fixed monitors might be available in the operating room and can be placed in different positions. Take note that the endoscopy tower is not a standard component of the operating room, but widely used since the introduction of minimal invasive surgery. To have immediate access to all required disposables during the procedure, a utility cart must be present in the OR. There are two utility carts, one for the anesthesiologist containing, among others, medications and tubes, and the utility cart of the scrub nurse, containing disposables like dressings and gloves. A separate cabinet is often present for all types of sutures. The body temperature of the patient should be kept stable and hypothermia should be prevented. The use of warmed blankets and fluids during long procedures is advised. These items are stored in a warmed closet which may be integrated into the OR or outside near the OR. A refrigerator is used in the operating room complex, especially for keeping medicines at the desired temperature or to preserve specimens. In general, the surgical team consists of six members. Surgeon, assistant and scrub nurse are part of the sterile team. A circulating nurse is present in order to assist the sterile team. This may be with handing over additional surgical implements if required during the procedure, as well as taking care of other patient and implement-related tasks during the pre-, per- and post-operative phase. Anesthesia is provided by the anesthesiologist and the nurse anesthetist. The position of the surgeon at the surgical table depends on the specific procedure to be performed. It may also depend on the dominant hand of the surgeon. A right-handed surgeon will probably stand on the right side of the patient if the surgical site is centrally located and an open procedure is performed. During endoscopic procedures, the position of the surgeon is usually opposite to the surgical site. 
the monitor is usually located above the surgical site, allowing easy handling of the camera while looking from a certain angle into the direction of the screen. Note that the screen is usually closer to the surgical site. The assistant usually stands in front of the surgeon during open procedures and next to the surgeon during laparoscopic procedures. The ideal position for the scrub nurse at the table is diagonally across from the surgeon. This allows for easy handing over of instruments from the scrub nurse to the surgeon. The anesthesiologist and the nurse anaesthetist are logically located at the head end. In order to control bioparticulate matter in the operating room environment, a specialised ventilation system has been developed. It is usually located in the centre of the ceiling, right above the surgical table, and is designed to provide a clean, filtered downflow of air, while displacing the ambient air in the room in order to prevent particles carried along by air currents from moving towards the sterile area. This type of ventilation is also known as laminar downflow. A laminar flow diffuser panel concentrates and directs a downward airflow, concentrated downflow. Polluted ambient air is hereby displaced by an invisible column of cool and filtered clean air. At the same time, a series of vents located in the walls of the operating room provide active extraction, whereby the air is directed via the return air zone located outside the walls of the operating room into advanced filters above the ceiling. These filters are High Efficiency Particulate Air Filters, HEPA, used to remove the particles present in the air. The operating room should have a minimum of 15 total air exchanges per hour. Doors to the operating room should be kept closed in order to maintain correct ventilation, airflow and pressure. The temperature within an operating room should be kept between 18 and 20 degrees. 66 to 68 Fahrenheit, with humidity between 30 to 60 percent. Supplied filtered air is usually around 19 degrees, but can be adjusted if necessary. For example, higher temperatures are preferred for children, since children's bodies' heat decreases more quickly. Working in a cool environment reduces the chance of the sterile team getting affected by the heat, caused by the gown, gloves, masks, and operating lights. A sweaty forehead endangers sterility when sweat droplets fall into the sterile area. Furthermore, research shows that a cool environment improves concentration and prevents irritation within the team. Also, bacteria, viruses and other organisms grow and reproduce more slowly when subjected to lower temperatures. Humidity should be maintained between 30 and 60%. Higher humidity may cause condensation of ambient moisture, which, as explained earlier, may jeopardise sterility. Lower humidity, on the other hand, may generate static electricity, which may lead to electrical shocks or fire.